But really now as an adult and for you in this position where you're saying you have your own skittishness and nervousness about really diving in, um, right. I imagine that you have trust issues and also feel really nervous truly opening up and being your full self with someone. God, you're good. Thank you. You're good. So how do we begin to unpack these things for each other and figure out like, what is your motivation? Is your saying, well, I want to make sure it's absolutely the one. Is that actually just an avoidance tactic to Probably. prevent being intimate with anybody? <sighs> God, I knew this would turn around on me. Yeah, it probably is. It's a defensive defense mechanism, mm. I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, because there's no perfect one out there. There's just, they don't exist. I'm not perfect and neither Nobody are you. Is. Well, you're closer than I am. You're very kind. Perfection. <laughs> uh, and Ryan here. But um, <laughs> well, Ryan's obviously perfect, except for the fact that he doesn't know how to use a microphone. Yeah, exactly. This is accurate. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I I don't know. But let me ask you what what is now going from this twenty one year old wo uh, girl, mm. really girl, to yeah, this whatever kid. how old you are now, woman. What? How do you feel about it? How do you feel about marriage? How do you feel about? I mean, do you want to get married? Largely, I feel great about it. But again, I think it depends on what people's motivations are. And I want to make sure, whether it's myself or one of my best friends, that we're clear on what it is we're signing up for, rather than thinking we're getting some like, you know, Kate Hudson and Matt McConaughey uh, rom-com life. You know, this notion that you're going to meet your person and they're going to make you so happy that you're going to be fulfilled and you'll never be nervous again and you'll never, ever think anyone else is hot. <laughs> like, what? It's such an absurd uh, joke. And so what I am a fan of, what I'm a believer in is real partnership, real intimacy that comes with radical honesty and with ground rules of always giving your partner the benefit of the doubt while asking questions, while being able to be vulnerable, admit when you're afraid, admit when you're being triggered by something else. Like, you have to do a lot of work. That sounds, I mean, it sounds, the first thing I thought of was this needs to be a course in college. Oh, I agree. Or I, seriously, I agree. they would just really sit down and talk to you about, look, these are the things. And I think earlier, I had a really fascinating conversation with Esther Perel, who was talking about certain countries um, that begin empathy education in preschool. And every couple of years, there's more curriculum, which is about... Um, holding space for each other and uh, what what consent means we don't hit our classmates if you want to hug someone ask those kinds of things for little kids that steadily evolve into sex ed in you know whether it's middle school high school I don't know when they do that for kids anymore um clearly we're doing a terrible job of it uh so that it's it is about consent it is about intimacy it is about sexual safety and 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 they learn about relationship building from the time that they're, you know, four. Can you imagine if we'd had 14 years of that? Oh my God. That? Oh my God. You know, until I just the never age of existed 18. with me. All mm -hmm. I saw, I was surrounded by just dysfunction and I, I didn't. So imagine at a young age, if you had, because in the developmental years, when you're yeah. five, seven, whatever it is, if you're not receiving love and all these things that you should be receiving as a young kid, yeah, it changes the whole outcome. It really mm -hmm. does. And you don't know what that is. And you're, I think that's what a lot of people do go through. I mean, unless you have really great parents and, you know, mm. um, I don't know. It sounds like you had a great experience with that. I mean, my parents and I have done the work. We had years that weren't great. 